Peter Joseph Osterhaus was a very interesting major general in the Civil War. He was one of very few German major generals in the Civil War. There were only two others that had been uh, immigrants to the United States as adults. I am the great, great granddaughter of Peter Joseph Osterhaus, and I knew very little about him. Uh, when I started digging into genealogy. Uh, I looked for information about him and I found a lot of discrepancies uh, in the little bit of information that I could find. And I thought as I dug into it more and more deeply that um, there's a story there because he did a lot more than anyone has given him credit for. He, he started the war in Missouri uh, in the very first battle west of the Mississippi and he ended the war signing the last surrender document west of the Mississippi. In between, he was on a 1,400 mile front and he participated in almost every major battle in the Western Theater except for Shiloh. He was in the Vicksburg Campaign, the Chattanooga Campaign, and the Atlanta Campaign. The Germans fought mostly for the North in the Civil War because uh, that's where they mostly landed when they emigrated. That's where the jobs were. Um, a lot of them were farmers, but they were also skilled and unskilled workers. Uh, and there was not that much for them to do in the South. So demographically, there were way more Germans in the North than there ever were in the South. Peter Joseph was a, a rebel in the German Revolution of 1848 and 9. And as his other fellow 48ers, who, who were also uh, rebels in that war, found when they came to the United States, the the idea of the United States disintegrating was uh, horrible to them because they had been fighting for unity, for a, a united country in Germany. And now they were seeing what they thought was a fine united country here trying to break up again. And that just horrified them. He's been sort of forgotten. I call him the unknown general because uh, there are several reasons. First of all, the Western campaign itself was not well covered by the press at the time. Second of all, he was an ethnic, and everybody just assumed that he was commanding other ethnics, and there was limited interest in those, except as how they failed in their, in their missions. I think, this, think that this book appeals to not only people who were curious about the Western campaign and the Western theater, because uh, that area of um, scholarship has been neglected until the last few years, but also, um, he turns out to have been the best German-born field general of any of them and has gotten very little attention. So I'm thinking that any German-American might be very interested in finding out what his contribution as representative of the 200,000 200, other Germans who fought in the Civil War for the North represented. It, it was a much bigger cost contribution than he's been given credit for.